Hey everybody, welcome to TIW Podcast. I'm Eric and today I watched WWE NXT episode 533, which I attended live on um, November 6th, 2019 um, in uh, at Full Sail Live in Orlando, Florida. And it was super, super awesome. Um, oh, man. This is probably the best wrestling trip that I've been on. Uh, it was a real quick trip, but it was, yeah, it was just awesome top to bottom. Uh, making it even more awesome is that uh, I got to spend the evening with one of my favorite people, Kristen. And uh, she was way into the show, and that uh, made it even more fun than I usually have um, at these shows. And it, it was it was just awesome. It was awesome. Um, so uh, before I get into this episode, uh, no spoilers for who won these matches. But uh, so I'll probably do a, still do an episode for two hundred five live this week. But it was filmed. Um, before NXT, I was worried that they were going to film it after it was made for a really late night, but they got started like, um, actually they got started at seven 20 instead of seven 30. Uh, but those first 10 minutes they presented, Oh, I forget his name. I think it's Jeremy something, but he was a, uh, um, he's a bouncer at a club in Dayton and he saved a whole bunch of people uh, at that um, during that shooting that happens um, uh, fairly recently. But uh, he was there, and he is he is a he is a wrestler, and he is he came out and he's at the performance center and stuff the last couple of days, and he's presented with a championship belt, uh, an NXT championship belt, and that was really cool. Triple H came out to do that, and that was that was really really cool. Um, and then, uh, so after they did that, they filmed two matches for 205 Live. Um, those matches were, uh, um, Brian Kendrick versus, who did he fight? I'm bl totally blanking on who he fought now. It was, it was the Brian Kendrick versus Mansoor. That's right. Um, so I, w uh, yeah, I'm not going to spoil who won the match or whatever, but that was a really fun match. And then the main event for the episode there's only the two matches um i'm sure we'll get some backstage stuff and things like that to fill out the episode a little bit more than this but um the main event was raul no yeah it was raul mendoza versus leo rush so go check that out that was pretty solid um so now let's talk about the episode itself we open <laughs> <clears throat> like in the middle of uh between those two matches they had the we're going live on the the, the like the the commercial preview thing and uh so that that was exciting of course but it cut away from that to backstage out uh in the alley behind the place uh the undisputed era were attacked by the oc and everybody went crazy it was great because <laughs> These guys are here at NXT, um, and they were open the the show started with them coming out and uh, answering uh, the call of the NXT invading uh, SmackDown and Raw. Now they are here to invade NXT, so they call out uh, call out everybody because they're like, well, your all your champions are out of, out of commission, so. What are you going to do about it? So Tommaso Ciampa come out. <coughs> Tommaso Ciampa comes out, and then uh, is that? Oh, we're we're supposed to be afraid of you. Us three are supposed to be afraid of just you. And of course, we all chanted yes, yes, yes. But he has some backup. He had Keith Lee and Matt Riddle come out, and so uh, the main event of the night would be a six man tag team match: uh, the OC versus. Uh, bro what what did he call him um the bro glory heart is what he i don't know what he he he, he gave T Tommaso gave themselves a team name i don't remember exactly what that it was kind of weird but um yeah 
yeah we'll get to that in just a minute um so we had we had a whole bunch of matches there's six yeah six matches in this episode uh we had pete dunn versus damian priest um uh the winner was pete dunn and he won via a arm breaker um <clears throat> a cross arm breaker I'm, I'm going i didn't take my own notes i'm going off of the post uh show discussion thread on reddit <coughs> so um yeah i i didn't take notes um usually i'll take notes on like my notes app on my phone um i didn't do that and then i also did not um take very many pictures because my my camera all of the camera apps have been acting really wonky lately um it seems to be okay now when i restart my phone again but um uh yeah most of the pictures we got uh Kristen got the picture uh took most of the pictures that uh we have between us um and i took maybe took like five pictures myself and uh the way i was able to do it was i had the camera it within the facebook messengers app that's the only camera app that would work and it was just really slow because it would sh it would pop up with the picture and then you'd have to hit save if you want to save it to your camera roll instead of sending it to the person that was in and all that so it was kind of a pain so i i mostly just uh kept my my uh my phone in my pocket um and uh let Kristen get uh the good photos of of all the good stuff uh, with people jumping off the top rope and all that. She got some, some really good ones of um, uh, Swerve. Uh, get to that match in a minute. And then also of, uh, I think it was Angel Garza. He was hitting a, a big aerial move on to Tony. Or it might have been Tony hitting the move on Angel. I forget. But, um, yeah. So, I did not. I, I don't have my phone littered with photos like I usually do um like i always open my phone i end up having like 500 pictures because i'll just be like bah, 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 take a bunch and then i never even look at them anyway but uh yeah uh <coughs> so i why 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 did i get off of that can't tangent oh so i'm just i'm just going off of this discussion thread the summary of the matches um yeah this this match is really good uh it was a nice rematch for pete uh then we had tainara versus santana garrett i was really excited to see santana um I, I i'm not even sure i knew that she was actually signed i really liked her in the may young classic um I, and i i don't even remember if she was in the first or the second one but um maybe she was in both but uh yeah this is a nice a nice little surprise uh tainara won won the match via pump cake and this is like this is really good this this match is really good so uh go check that out um it's so awesome to see like there's so much focus on all the women that are involved in the war games and then these two like two they're they're completely out of that loop and they put on an awesome match as well it's it's really cool um, and then we had Shayna Baszler uh, versus Dakota Kai. Dakota trying to prove herself that she would be worthy of being chosen for uh, Rhea Ripley's team for War Games. Uh, but Shayna Baszler wins via the Kirafuda Clutch. And um, then they start beating her down, uh, beating down Dakota Kai. Uh, her friends come out, but then her enemies also come out. They're all, it's a big old brawl with everybody. And um, Mia Yim comes out last and she has a kendo stick and she obliterates Shayna, EO, uh, Marina, Jessamine, uh, Bianca, all of them lays them all out. And, uh, they help Dakota out to the back. And then we get an interview, um, with that whole crew, uh, a, a little bit later on. And Rhea says that her final pick for her team, her fourth member of her team is, not Dakota Kai. It is Mia Yim. So uh, Dakota is very upset, walks off, and uh, we were all very, very sad for her. And 
Uh, there's some speculation of what's going to happen. Who? Because Shayna still has to pick her fourth fourth person. Um, and she didn't even choose her best friends to be in the match. But I guess the reasoning is that it's better. She needs people on the outside to 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 make things go right or rid of her. It's a it's a even more of an advantage to have basically six people on her team if people somehow are able to get out of the cage or before they even get in the cage, they might be attacking them and stuff. I don't know. I don't think that's really fair. But anyway, Shayna's team so far is Shayna, Io, and Bianca. Who will she pick for her fourth member? Um, there's a lot of discussion of uh, who it might be. Um, and I, it could be pretty interesting because uh, I felt like Shayna I, – I watched this match back again. Um and seeing the see, being able to see their faces better and all that it looked like Shayna was was really put to the test by Dakota um and after the match she was like it kind of felt like she was like oh my god what just happened that kind of thing and i could see that they didn't really have any interaction after it be, aside from like putting the beat down on her um but uh, it, that wasn't going on for long before everybody else started to come out. So it would be really interesting if that match earns Shayna's respect a little bit and that uh, Dakota has uh, even more fire lit under her if she might g- defect to, that, to, to Shayna's side and not necessarily be friends with Shayna, but to further prove herself and make Rhea regrets not having picked her for her team. That would be really, really cool. Um, but we'll we'll see what happens next time with all of that. Okay, so uh, the next match that occurred was Angel Garza versus Tony Nice, and uh, this was awesome as well. I told Kristen there's something that's going to happen in this match that I think you'll really enjoy. Uh, you'll know it when it happens. And then it happened completely different. It was a completely different spot than I've seen before involving Angel Garza's pants. Um, and it was, it was awesome. It was great. Uh, he had started to, to, to do his pants thing, got him undone a little bit, but Tony Nese interrupts it, uh, takes it to him for a little while and then, uh, gets him up onto the, 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 the ring posts there He's about to hit a big old power bomb on him, but the pants come. <laughs> he he has him gripped by the pants. Instead, he grabs the pants and power bombs an empty pair of pants, and it's amazing. And that was probably my favorite thing from the whole episode. It was really good. It was really good. <laughs> um, but Angel Garza wins that match, and he becomes the number one contender for the cruiserweight championship. And that match will take place next week on nxt so that's going to be a real real good time angel garza versus leo rush yes absolutely um then we had uh, diamondic domic (laughs) diamondic (laughs) dojakovic oh my god dominic dojakovic i was trying to say it weird and it was even more weird than i thought it would be um dominic dojakovic versus isaiah swerve scott's um this match was freaking awesome um it was <laughs> the guy uh sitting to my left is like man this is weird seeing seeing dominic fight anybody that it, it, that isn't keith lee and i was like yeah they should they should have a they sh- should be having like a best of 100 series something like that um but yeah this match was awesome swerve is so so good and uh Dijakovic is awesome as well and they work together extremely well um uh dominic got the win there at the end but it was close it was close i thought swerve was gonna gonna go grab it a couple of those times but uh man go check out this match um the main event was awesome too but uh, this one as actual conclusion uh, actual finish to the match as far as having a, a winner and uh just yeah it was awesome go check it out and then we had our main event champa lee and riddle versus the oc 
Um, it was a no contest because at one point, oh man, this was it was pretty killer that uh, AJ Styles is in the ring. Uh, referee Drake uh, was in there too, and uh, Keith Lee goes runs the ropes and just slams right into AJ, sending him. Uh, sending him into Drake and Drake is totally wiped out and then brawl ensues Finn Balor comes out um, uh, he, he's a bit of a distraction for AJ Styles uh, uh, to try to, to hit the, the Styles clash on uh, Tommaso Ciampa I think it was um, it might have been Matt Riddle at that point no I'm pretty no it was it was Tommaso uh, but as he's doing that, Adam Cole comes out and attacks AJ Styles, the OC. They get out of there, and uh, yeah, that's how he ends the show with Adam Cole in the ring. <coughs> Tommaso Ciampa there on the ground. I think he was still on the ground. Maybe he rolled out of the ring. Um, AJ Styles haven't been beaten up. All of that, NXT is still, I mean... I think I think NXT basically got the uh, the upper hand here. Uh, even though it's a no contest, I feel like they're uh, they're holding strong. Um, but uh, they're they're a bit outnumbered. They have Finn Balor there, and then they had Adam Cole come in. It was it was basically five on three in a way. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll see we'll see what happens on SmackDown. Um, the OC is on SmackDown, but uh, well. They're filming, uh, so they're filming Raw and SmackDown in uh, Manchester, I believe, on uh, on Friday. Um, so it's gonna be a weird couple of episodes. Um, I I wonder if anybody from NXT proper will be there, or maybe we'll get some NXT UK action. That would be pretty cool. Um, get get uh, uh, Tyler Bates, get Trent Seven involved in there, um, and. Even more exciting would be if we got some Imperium action going on, but uh, it might be a little bit too. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. It, I I'm excited, even though the the pre taped episodes are always weird, and this one it'll be even more weird because they're they're pre taping a couple of days ahead of time for Raw. I, it's still gonna be pretty cool uh, with the, the the this whole build up to towards survivor series and war games is super exciting so um it's official the men's war games ha match will happen as well um and uh we have all of undisputed on one team and then we have champa lee and riddle on the other team and they still need a fourth member who will that fourth member be um, I kind of feel like it's going to be Velveteen Dream. He has, his, he has, uh, he has a score to settle with the Undisputed Era because they, they beat him up a few weeks ago. Um, but it would be really cool if it's a, a complete surprise who it is. Or if it was, it could be Dijakovic. Um, it could be, it could be a Cassius Ono. Uh, although he's not really, he's not really a, a he hasn't really been a good guy for a while, but um, who else? Who else could it be? It could be like an it. It could be an Angel Garza, or uh, uh, um, who else could it be? Who am I thinking? I mean, they could even pull Leo Rush in there uh, to be, you know, just do all kinds of the high flying stuff for for their side. Um, I don't. I don't know. Uh, it hasn't, I mean, because they're having this championship match next week, uh, do they then have the following week, another number one contenders match, and then a championship match at war games for the cruiserweight championship? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, but yeah, I that mystery there with who will be the fourth member of their war games team that, uh, uh, I like, I like that we have the matches set pretty much, but they're still taking a little bit of time to fully assemble the teams. Uh, we still have that that team member to, to determine, and then the team member for uh, Shayna Baszler's team to be determined, and that makes it all pretty. Uh, it, it adds a bit more excitement there. Um, <coughs> so Finn, he gave the the <coughs> the finger guns. Excuse me. <coughs> 
the finger guns to AJ as he was about to hit that Styles Clash. But uh, was that actually a distraction until a- Adam Cole could arrive? Or, um, you know, what did he not know that was going to happen? Or a little bit of both? that he's not sided with Adam Cole, but he does want to uh, cause some, some chaos there. Finn Balor does that is. Um, So yeah, we'll see what happens. Who, who is Finn aligned with? Who is he? What is his purpose? What is he going after? Um, Or is he, he just there to be, to, to be NXT himself? Um, yeah, I'm excited to see all all of this. Um, yeah, I, I I like it would explain uh things here and there uh uh since uh Kristen doesn't watch um NXT um and uh or like the last time that she watched the event it was like, a long time ago um so like everybody is is like brand new so I would explain like little bits and pieces here and there. Uh, but I completely left out that uh, I did not mention Finn Balor at all, even though the OC were there. I was really excited for AJ Styles and everything. Uh, but I did not say anything about Finn Balor. And so when his music hit and he came out, that was a really exciting thing as well. Was like, it, everything was, was so, so awesome the entire night. Um, so, yeah, that's as of another hell of an episode um i i don't really like talking about the ratings and stuff but i it it is kind of exciting that it was basically neck and neck between nxt and AEW this week um you may have noticed i didn't do an AEW episode for last week's episode um and that is because well i watched it but i wasn't like really into it and I didn't feel like taking notes and stuff like that. I just kind of had it on while, while I was working on some stuff. And, um, you know, there's enjoyable moments, of course. Um, but I felt like, you know, I think I think I'll just leave uh, leave that alone. Not even really worry about talking about it and all that. Um, because a lot of the discussion of it would be like more more. It would. I feel like it it would easily become just like a comparison of the shows and be like which show are like better and all that. Uh I think I think it's just safe to say I I'm doing the episodes about NXT. That's the show that I like more and that's the show that I enjoy more and all that. So I don't think I need to really talk about the comparison between the two or anything like that. But I do want to did want to mention that there's only like an 8,000 viewers difference between the two shows. So that is like, that, that's, I mean, that's like a, that <laughs> could be considered more or less a, a rounding error in some, uh, in some circles, in the inner circles. I don't know. Anyway, <coughs> um, I do still have to, I, I haven't watched AW yet this week, but I will probably, put that on at some point it is uh um what's it called the full gear is the pay-per-view happening this saturday um i don't know if i'll end up watching it maybe i i I don't know we'll see but um yeah that's exciting exciting for them and um i'm looking forward to see like to hear hear about what the best matches were and all that and see what uh what i should check out and everything um but yeah uh back to nxt i i'm super excited um and i've got some some really exciting plans sort in the next couple of weeks so uh stay tuned for all of that um i can't wait it's gonna be so awesome and i'm i got my 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 survivor series travel package um uh it, 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 from fedex it came right before i went uh went out out to orlando and uh i'm really excited for that i have like re- a really really good seat for for that weekend um and uh for all four sh- it's the same seat for all four shows i was really surprised because i think i did like the lowest tier of the package i'm like oh man this 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 these seats are really good but anyway um i'm super excited for that and um and yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be awesome. 
So uh, let me know what you thought about this week in um, on NXT by tweeting me at TIW Podcast. Go to TIWpodcast.com for more reviews. If you enjoyed this episode or anything else on the site, please share some links with your friends. Subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, wherever you like to listen. And uh, stay safe out there in all, the mul- all of the infinite multiverses. Why can't I ever say that, like, I, I stumble like at one point or another every single time. Stay safe out there in all the infinite multiverses, and I'll see you next time here on TIW Podcast. Bye!